Hey guys, and in today's video, I'm not shooting on my big camera because my battery needs to charge, so I'm recording on my vlogging camera. Um, don't have a mic in it, so sorry if the order's crap, but I'm gonna be talking about something that scares me a lot. Um, it's anxiety, and it is called death anxiety. Now, you might see me crying, you might see me tear up, you might see me thingy, it's fine. I need to get over my fear of death. It's a fear and anxiety as well. When I I am one of these people that don't want to die. Oh, sorry, I'm gonna think about it. I'm thinking because I wanna go when I'm old, like in my 80s or 90s, and I don't wanna die yet right now because I'm with someone who loves me and It's a work in progress that I need to do. When I do think about it, um, sometimes I have, I will have dreams or I'll watch something and I'll wake up or I'll think about it so much and that's when my anxiety kicks in. I breathe heavily, I rock, I, it just has a hold over me and I don't know why. I end up staying up sometimes all night because of it because I don't I don't like it but I need to overcome it and get my anxiety down I'm trying to meditate as well um when I do have it but it doesn't work my husband when I do have this he's normally asleep and I don't want to wake him up because I don't want him to lose sleep because I think about other people more than myself I need to get over it because if you don't when the time happens, you won't want it to happen, you won't be ready for it. So that's what I'm gonna do. Another anxiety of mine is C, the sea. Um, basically, every I don't wanna go on cruises, I don't wanna go on boats, I don't wanna go anything, that's the sea. I like to step in the sea, but that's how far, that. Uh, so my legs are still at the water, my feet are in, that's how far I get in. I cannot go into the sea because if I look down, there's nothing beneath me and that scares the living shit out of me. It scares me so much. Um, it's so scary to think of because I'm thinking, oh my God, I can't see nothing down there. What the hell is down there? And I'm scared that something's just gonna touch my leg, uh, touch my feet and just drag me down and I've drowned. <sighs> and I just don't like it. I can go in swimming pools because I know there's a bottom to it and I can reach it. But when I go down the deep end, I have to go back quickly because I don't like it. I need to go back swimming to conquer it because it's scary. I don't know why these stuff happened to me. Like, no, I'm opening up so much, but I feel like you you need to see the side of me because some people on YouTube when they do beauty videos that I do, they you don't see them open up a lot. You don't, and I want to because it's scary to have all this on your way and you can't talk to anybody. And then when you try, they're just like, oh get over it you know and it's not the way to have my husband's helping me through it i'm talking to him about it and it's so good to talk to someone about it because it just thingies your mind and it just lets you you know just it does it just thingies a bit i'm i just you may think i'm strong behind in front of the camera or behind the camera that i live a perfect life but i don't um i work from home from youtube which i love so much and I love it so much and I vlog and I love that. I have anxiety. I want to be a person that doesn't have it and I want to work through it because if I still have it, it just keep holding me back and I just don't want it to hold me back anymore. I don't know if you want me to just uh, to do me talking about how things are helping me, how that is. If you want me to do something like that, I will. But a lot of people just don't talk about it and it needs to be said. I know Zoe psych was the first one to talk about anxiety but of like going on stage and like stuff like that but i'm talking about anxiety where you have deaf anxiety you, you have c anxiety you have stuff like that that is scary i get really emotional sometimes i'm an emotional person and i know that i always put other people first which i need to stop doing i always put my husband first because i do and i want him to be happy and everything i just want to put him first but I need to put myself first, you know, and work on me and through my anxiety as well. Work on my anxiety and not be scared of anything and not have fear of anything. And just work on my anxiety so much that 
I just want it to be lower and not to be so harsh. I worry so much as well when I do find something abnormal on me. I worry and I can't wait around and sometimes I will just go straight to the hospital because I just, I just worried that much and then I find it's nothing and I think, oh, it was nothing to be worried about. When my husband has something wrong with them, I worry about him as well. I worry about everybody who has something wrong with them. Like when my nan died, I was so worried about her. And me worrying is not a good thing because it's not very good because a lot of the time I just don't eat when I worry because I'm so, my brain's just on worrying so much that I just don't eat and it's not good. I know it's not good, I know. Something's happened though when you don't know what to do and you know, and you need to get through life. I'm a 32 year old and I still have this. I may look young and people go, you look so good for your age and that is so nice. But I still am a normal be I'm still a normal person. I still have fears. I still have I do have anxiety. Be positive more in my life, you know, I just need to do that and get it out there and just be more positive. I know this is a very open up and emotional video, I'm so sorry, but sometimes you just need to get things off your chest. I get so annoyed sometimes that my husband that my husband's manager and store manager just don't want to promote him. When he's been there's my husband's coming on thirty four. He's thirty three right now. And he's been at his store. He's been at working at the job that he is since he was 16. So that's, he knows the store. He knows the job back end. If you put a blindfold on him, he would know what to do. I just have, I just have fears and anxieties and I just want them to stop and just be happy and normal. I'm losing weight for myself now because I did do it for some, I did do it for my husband, but I'm not now. I'm losing weight for myself. I do not want to be a stick thin model no i don't i don't want to be the models that are stick thin i don't because it looks it doesn't look right to me i just don't like it i prefer curvy i've always been curvy i like when i'm 40 when i was 40 it's done i was really curvy and i loved it then my husband and my weight were piled back on i'm gonna do something for myself and for yourself it's so much easier to do i just can't let things stop me anymore i know videos that i do want to do and i'm scared of doing them but do you know what it's time for me to take a stand and do the videos that I want to do and and that's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to let anything stop me. If I want to do a video, I'm going to do a video. And that's how I'm going to live my life. And I know I can do it, I know. I know I can do it. It's just going to take time, you know. But yeah, sorry I rambled on. Hopefully you do enjoy this video. You probably relate to some of it. I don't know. I'll see you in the next video. Ciao.